Hey, what up, YouTube? Um, I hope everyone is having a good year so far. Um, I know it's been a while since I uploaded any new content on this channel, but I'll be uh, uploading some new stuff in the next couple of days or not long after uploading this particular video. Um, but before doing that, I wanted to address something. Um, so in when I did this online demo application, uh, online banking application, um, within the register, um, after registering a, a user, um, there's a functionality where an email is being sent uh, to the user's email account to verify. Now, at the time when I did this project, I used a utility called HMail Server. Um, let me just open it up quickly. So um, HMail Server is an email sending client, um, but it only works on Windows. So uh, let me just quickly log in. So um, unfortunately, HMail Server only works on Windows. And so if you're using Mac or Linux, this is not going to work for you. But the reason I only used this uh, HMail Server email sending client was because at the time I didn't have consistent internet access. And so for me, this was a nice utility to have because then I can um, easily, uh, easily send emails without having to have internet connectivity. And so within this project, um, I created a domain um, and then some email accounts uh, for testing uh, when uh, when working with this application. So the email addresses that I used were these ones in here where, um, um, and then I also used Mozilla Thunderbird in order to set up those email accounts. So now um, what I wanted to address was that you don't have to use uh, HTML server to send or test out emails. Uh, there's two things you can do here. Number one, within the project itself, um, here under the register controller, this is where we are sending the email notification to the user. Um, you don't have to do this if you don't want to send an email. You can just comment this line out like so. Or if you do want to send an email, there is a better alternative than HMail server. So for example, uh, you can, um, by the way, HMail server, this is the link. I'll leave a link in the description below as to where you can download HMail server. But you can use a utility called MailTrap. So with MailTrap, um, you can use this to catch whatever emails that you're sending, or you can use this to test out emails. So this is the utility that I would recommend. It is way much easier to set up. It's way much easier to work with than HMail server because you would have to um, know a couple of things. There's a couple of things you need to set up in order for this to work. And so um, I learned about this utility through one of the guys, some guy, uh, there's a guy who commented on one of my videos um, and asked me to see if I can set it up on, on Laravel. And so this is when I learned about this particular utility. Um, I know there's other things that he asked me to do with, uh, to, 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 to test this out with. Um, I did try, but I kept failing. And so therefore um, I'll be trying to work with HTML server at a later stage. Um, but for the time being, I gave, uh, I put it on pause. Um, but yeah, in any case, um, at the time, this was a nice utility for me because like I said, I didn't have internet access. And so that is why I chose to use it, uh, within this, uh, Spring Boot project. So in any case, if you come to MailTrap, I'll leave a link in the description to below to this particular website. Uh, you come to MailTrap, you sign up, um, and create an account. And then once you do that, um, you'll be able to set up your own mailbox. I already have an account. And so therefore, I'm not going to do the sign up now within this video. But once you sign up and log in, you should be taken to this page here where you can create a number of mailboxes. I don't know how many mailboxes you can set up within this uh, free account, but I only have one. I've only ever used one. I didn't see the need to create multiple ones. Uh, but you can do that in case um, in case you were wondering, you can create another mailbox. Maybe you want to test out sending emails in Java, test, testing sending emails in Python or PHP, whatever programming language of your choice. So uh, once you create a mailbox, if you click here where it says mailbox, you will see that here on the left, oh, sorry, here, this is where the emails will come in. This is your email box. And then here is where you will get the credentials for this particular mailbox. So each mailbox will have different accounts. And so um, this is the host. These are the port numbers. This is the username and password. Now, when it, we go back to our, our, our project here, the Spring Boot project, um, this is the mail.config class, which you will find it within the config folder. This is it here. This is where I set up the configuration for the host and all of that. As you can see here, I use localhost because HTML server is installed locally on my machine. 
and then this is the port number I set up here within uh, HTML server and then this is the email address and password and then again these are the ones that I set up here within HTML server as you can see the no reply email is over there and then after that here there is a helper class called HTML and then here I created a method that returns that returns as a string where it returns an email template that the user is going to receive once they register on the site all right you will see that shortly and then in the mail messenger here is where you set up the rest of the configuration so in here you we have a method that returns an email message but um returning an html uh, template so you can change this from maybe just sending a text and so forth but you know that's another video um for early for, for another time so in here you call the java mail sender and then this is where you call the mail.config class which is the one that we set up here this one just calls the configuration and then from there on you send out the mind message you set up a mind message and then my message helper and then from here this is where as you can see here uh, let me just close this as you can see here this method takes in a couple of parameters where the email is coming from where the email is going to the subject and the body so the body is obviously returning that html template like i uh, like i mentioned uh which is this one here and so this is where it will come in and so the, and then finally it sends out a message and then here within the register controller this is where we are calling that uh this mail messenger class uh which is over here again it takes in where the email is coming from where the email is who the e where the email is going to be sent the very the subject and then the html body right that we are getting from the html uh method that uh, uh html class that we created the helper class okay so with all that being said you don't have to change anything else except here within the mail don't config class so if you've set up an account within mail trap um, and you've got your credentials the only thing you need to change if you were following along with what i was doing within this project the only thing you need to change is the host the port number and the email uh, the username and password that you need to use to send the email so like i showed you within mail trap this is where you will get your your information so all we have to do is copy that host as you can see there but come back here change that from local host to whatever your mail to the mail trap uh um, what you call it host um, uh, server and then the port number as you can see we have 25 46 and 58 these are the ones that you would don't use this these three here because these ones are gonna have um, you're gonna have security issues it's not gonna work uh, since this is just for testing use this one the 25 25 so here we just have to add 25 and save and then now we're gonna take the username and password so if you come back here copy that username there right and then you paste it here um hold on you paste it there and then you take the password which is that one there and then you paste it there all right so guys uh, just remember don't use the ones that you see here use the ones that you have within your own mailbox if you try and use these ones it's not going to work because these ones belong to me and in fact after the video i'm going to change them by clicking that reset credentials button there so now that we have the host the port number the username and password this is only the changes that we need to make within this project so now i'm going to stop the server and rerun it again um, so that we can test out and see if we can send emails right so i'm gonna double click there i'm gonna pause the video while it does this and then when we come back we're gonna test out and see if we can register and if we're going to receive an email within our mail trap mailbox one moment for me please all right guys i'm back okay so the server should be up and running now as you can see there so if you come back here and let's just refresh Now we can try and register. So let's register. Um, let's say, uh, let's just say Regina. Um, let's just say Davidson. And then here we'll create an email address. We'll say Regina.davidson 
um, at some company email dot com, and then we'll put in our password. We'll say password one two three. All right, and then I'm gonna click register. Okay, so it looks like it went through. This is the message that you should get if you didn't get any errors. So if you come back to our mail trap mailbox, we should have received an email. So as you can see, the email just came in and then if we click on that email address, um, there's the email template that we received. And so therefore that means when we click on this here, it should take us to, to the login page and say, um, account verified successfully, please proceed to login. So let me see if I can copy the, the email address here. Copy that, paste it there, and then say password one two three. You should be able to log in hopefully. Okay, so Regina Davidson um, has signed in successfully. All right, so um, again, guys, I was doing this video because, like I said, I know there's some of you who use Mac, some of you use Linux, and so HTML server is not going to work for you guys because HTML server is a Windows utility. So, um, but again, regardless of that, I recommend MailTrap, regardless of whether you're using Windows, Linux, or Mac. I, MailTrap is much easier to work with. It's much easier to set up, and you don't have, you don't need a valid email address in order for this to work. This um, utility is just so that you can test out emails. So with this utility, you can catch whatever email functionality you want to try out. And so therefore, um, I recommend this. So create an, uh, an account with a mail trap um, if you guys don't have any internet issues and so forth. But if you're using Windows, you can still use um, HMail server. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to lo below to a video where I show you how to set it up. And then, yeah, just play around with it and see what you come up with. But um, like I said, um, MailTrap is way much easier to work with. And so I would recommend that you use that regardless of what platform you're on, Linux, Windows, or Mac. So, um, yeah, guys, look, I hope I was able to convey. Um, I just wanted to address that because I know that some of you, you don't use the same technologies. And so, um, like I said, the only change you need to make is here within the config class where you just change the credentials as to uh, the, the credentials. Um, so set them up to mail trap and then you should be able to send and receive emails. Otherwise, if you don't want that functionality, all you have to do is go to the register controller class and just comment out this line. And then therefore, once you comment out this line, you can just register the user. Uh, you can just register the user without sending emails and then you can just proceed to log in. But the other thing is, sorry, um, I just need to ref refresh that. But the other thing is this, when you go to sign in, because there's a functionality where, for example, within the login controller, let me just go there quickly. Um, I think it's off controller. So another line you might need to, um, um, another line where you might need to um, comment out is this section here. So within the auth controller, um, here I'm checking to see if the account is verified. So if you're going to comment out that, that section where you are sending out an email, make sure to comment this section out as well, because it's checking to see if that uh, email address is verified. If it's not, it's not going to allow you to log in. And so therefore make sure you comment out this section here as well, or take it out completely, delete it if you want to. And then you should be able to proceed with the application, um, regardless, you know, so yeah, just bear that in mind if you're gonna if you're gonna comment out this email functionality. Otherwise, just do what I did, where the user gets an email, verify the account, and then you should be fine from there. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for the video. I just wanted to explain the whole HTML server situation and the sending email functionality as well, um, just in case if there's those of you who had issues with it. So. Um, but that's it for the video. I hope I was able to explain everything clearly and so forth. Like I said, you can message me on, in, on, on any of my social media. I know I don't always respond on time, but whenever I do get a chance, I will respond. And then, yeah, I'll see wherever I can help wherever I can. But in any case, if you've liked what you've seen so far, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys within the next video.
Thanks again for watching and cheers for now.